I've got a real thing at the moment for indoor flowering bulbs, and a couple of weeks ago I did an episode dedicated to indoor flowering hyacinths. But if hyacinths aren't your kind of thing, I've got another must-have bulb that I think you're going to like. Welcome to episode three of Plug Plants, Paper White Daffodils. Let's go. Hey everyone, how's it going and welcome back. If you've already watched my previous Plug Plants episodes, you'll know that they're episodes where I pick a plant that I absolutely love and I try and convince you to fall in love with it yourself. And if you don't already have one, to get one and give it a go. If you haven't already watched the episodes, I'll link the whole playlist up here. Give them a go because I think you'll love them. But a couple of weeks ago, I talked about indoor hyacinths and Maybe for some of you, you think that indoor hyacinths are too garish, too blousy, too big, too colourful. Well, in that case, you need to try out these. This is a little bulb that is a lot more refined. Beautiful white, nice fragrance, delicate flowers, and a very, very classy little plant. They're paper white daffodils. So what are paper whites? Why am I choosing to grow them this year? And more importantly, why do I think you need to get yourself some of these as well and give it a go? Well, they're daffodils just like any other that you would see outside. And in fact, these are frost hardy. So if you wanted, you could plant them outside, but they're best known as indoor flowering plants. You get them like this. They come as prepared bulbs, just the same as a hyacinth bulb, and you treat them the same way. You plant them around now in autumn and early winter, and you force them indoors so that they flower around Christmas and New Year, and they reward you with a lovely indoor display of flowers. Now, the ones that I've bought are called Paper White Ziva. They're not expensive. This cost me $7.95, and I got eight bulbs. Now, I know that it may be difficult, depending on where you're living at the moment with lockdown restrictions, to get hold of these. So if you have a look in the description down below, you'll see that I've given you a direct link. Click that and you can actually order some of these bulbs to have delivered direct to your house. The reason I'm doing this video now, by the way, is that this is just about the perfect time to be planting them. If you plant them in early November, even better, because you're going to get a lovely display of flowers just around Christmas time. So that gives you time to follow the link below, order the bulbs, have them delivered, and you can plant them for yourself. So, like I was saying, these are called Ziva. When they grow, they're about 40 centimetres tall, and on each flower spike, you have these lovely little white flowers. They're really, really crisp white. They're about two centimetres across, across, with little yellow stamens and a brilliant fragrance. One of the lovely things about paper whites as well is that rather than only having one or two flowers on each flower spike, you can get up to 15, so it's a really, really knockout display. Now, why do I think these are great? Well, it's exactly the same as my hyacinth video that I did. When you look at the price versus what you get, these are absolutely unbeatable. Like I was showing you, these cost about 7.95, that's 7.95 euro for eight bulbs. Now, when you compare that to a bunch of flowers, really you're already doing pretty well. The display they give is absolutely brilliant. Again, because of the time of year, they give you that pop, that little bit of brightness, nice white flowers, nice fragrance, when the days are the darkest and things can start to just seem a little bit dull in the winter. Also, a bit like a hyacinth, you can plant these up and they'll do really nicely as last minute gifts. Plant one in a single jar just as a little gift or go all out and buy a whole load of them and plant up a lovely planter. So it gives you loads and loads of options. I think it's a really versatile plant and definitely worth giving a go. Growing paper white daffodils really couldn't be much easier, and that's because they're prepared bulbs just like a hyacinth. So the commercial growers will have given these all of the conditions that they need leading up to the point that they're delivered to you, so that when they arrive with you, they're ready and raring to go, ready to put on roots, ready to put on shoots, and most importantly, give you the display of flowers that you're hoping for. In fact, the ones that I've bought are so raring to go that they've already got some shoots on some of the bulbs. 
The other thing is because they're prepared, they don't actually need any nutrition from a soil in order to grow successfully. You can grow them in nothing more than water. So it really opens up the options on containers to grow them in and ways to grow them in. So the first way and the easiest way to grow them is to simply use a bulb jar. Pick a bulb, pop it in the jar and fill the jar up with water and you're done. The only thing you need to be careful of is to not submerge the bulb. If you submerge the bulb in water, there's a very real possibility that it's probably just gonna rot off. So fill the jar up to just below the bulb because once the bulb gets going, those roots will reach down into the water and it's away. So that's the first and the easiest way to plant these up. The second way, and it's a really nice way if you're thinking of doing it as a gift, is to plant them in a jar with some pebbles. Now again, in my previous video on the hyacinths, I planted them in a little short jar, and you'll see that this jar is a good bit taller, and there's a reason for that. When these bulbs grow, they grow to about 40 centimeters high, and they have a tendency, because they're quite tall, but with quite a lot of flower, that they tend to just fall out a little bit and get a little bit floppy. So what I'm hoping is that by putting them in this jar, and you can see when I'm setting them in, that actually there's still quite a bit of the jar sitting above them. What I'm hoping with that is as these grow, this is going to give the flower spikes just that little bit of extra support so that they stay upright. So. I'm cramming these in quite tightly. I've got three bulbs in this jar. You can see they're already sitting on a bed of uh, pebbles and gravel. And actually I've got a couple of cobbles in there as well, just to make it look nice. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more gravel and start to fill it in around the bulbs, just up to the neck. You're not wanting to totally cover the bulbs, but you are wanting to just bring that level of gravel. Oh, bit of gravel escaped there. Bring that level of gravel just up to the necks of each of the bulbs. Then once you've done that, just take a little bit of water. And again, you're pouring the water in and you're aiming to get the level just below the bottom of each bulb. So that's another way that you can do really nice and easy. And what's great is I think that makes a really nice gift that you could take over to somebody, particularly handy around Christmas time. And then the final way, which is probably the most traditional way, is to plant them up in a pot or a basket. I'm using this little basket and you can see I've lined it with a little bit of old polythene. The reason for that is the basket didn't already come pre-lined and I wasn't able to find a plastic pot that I could line it with. So I used a little bit of polythene, which I've cut some holes into for drainage, and I've taken some old spent compost. Again, I talked about this in my hyacinth video. You can buy bulb fiber, but What's really handy, particularly if you've been growing plants in a conservatory or the greenhouse, is just to use some old compost, which is exactly what I've done. These bulbs don't need any nutrition. So what I've got then is I've got another five bulbs remaining. So I'm putting them into this little basket and I'm planting them really, really tightly in, as you can see. And then I'm gonna fill them in with compost. And just like with the pebbles, you're not wanting to totally cover the bulbs, but you're just wanting to bring that compost up to the level of the necks of each of the bulbs. So once you've got them planted, the only difference between these and a hyacinth is that you don't need to put these somewhere cold and dark to trigger them into growing. So what you do is you just take them, whether you've got them in a jar, a big jar with gravel, or in a basket or a pot, and you place them in a nice cool room for a couple of weeks. And here's where it gets kind of interesting. The temperature of your room affects how fast or slow these are gonna grow. So if you've grown several sets in different pots and containers, you can actually use different rooms to control how quickly they're gonna grow and come into flower so that you can get a nice little succession. If you wanna get these going straight away, put them on a nice windowsill in a warmish room, they're gonna romp away and you'll have flowers in no time. If, however, you wanna hold them back a little bit, pick a slightly darker room, slightly cooler, and you'll find that they grow a little bit slower. The other thing, and here's where it gets really weird, and I cannot attest to this working because I've never tried it. Apparently, research has shown that paper white daffodils that are watered with a mix of water with 5% alcohol grow one third shorter. 
And that's actually a really good thing for exa exactly the reason that I was saying a minute ago, where they tend to grow too tall and they get floppy. So what you can do is you can apparently take any standard clear alcohol, a bit like gin or vodka, they don't be using the good stuff. It's normally about 40% proof. So if you watered it down one part alcohol to seven parts water and then water the bulbs, you should find that it stunts the growth that little bit. Now, like I said, I've never tried that before. I've got no idea whether it's gonna work. So I'm gonna take the risk for you and that's how I'm gonna treat these. These are gonna get the odd shot of vodka and we'll see A, do they survive and B, what height they actually grow to and whether the alcohol method works. So there you have it. Those are the reasons why I'm choosing to grow paper white daffodils this year and why I think you need to have a go yourself if you haven't tried before. And no matter what way you choose to grow them, whether it's in a bulb jar, whether it's in a nice decorative container with some pebbles, or whether it's just in a basket or a pot in some compost, you're almost guaranteed to have success and you're almost guaranteed to have that lovely winter display of beautiful white fragrant flowers around Christmas and New Year. Like I said earlier in the video, I have left a link in the description if you want to order these online, which is kind of handy if, like me, you're locked down at the moment, you can't get out, and more importantly, the garden centres are closed. So check it out down below if you're interested. And as ever, I love hearing your comments, so let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this video or whether you're going to have a go at growing these. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe and make sure to hit that bell icon so that you'll be notified when I post my next video. And until next time, see you later.